the beginning of any security dis discussion has to start with what's called threat modeling, right? Threat modeling, in a nutshell, is essentially making sure that you understand who the, who the adversary is, and that's just a fancy term for saying the people who are upset or will, be, will become upset, right? Um, by the publishing of a given story. So we need to figure out who they are. There might be multiple different adversary groups. Um, what do they want or not want? And what are your vulnerabilities? So how can they get information from you or how can they find things out? This process is by far and away the most important process and it supersedes any other further uh, dis discussion or decision making uh, tree, which is to say, what tools are we gonna use? Are we gonna encrypt our emails? Are we gonna use a VPN? Are we gonna are we going to um, use Signal, all these other you know, ideas that probably have been discussed a lot? All of that has to come after you've decided who we're trying to actually protect the information from. Conduct this threat modeling exercise where you create a column where on one side you list out all the risks that a given story would entail, right? And we're going to try to correlate these risks to things that are specific to the adversary, as we said earlier. And then in the other column, we're gonna put down a mitigation, which is to say, how are we gonna to respond to this risk? So the risk is that we might be, is that our communication might be hacked. Well, the mitigation will be, we'll only use secure communications. The risk is that our source um, might be compromised on the way to and from their home. So we won't meet there, we'll meet in another location, right? And so for every single risk that you have, you think about a mitigation. Now, it's important to emphasize that sometimes there isn't a mitigation for a given risk, right? This, the mitigation isn't gonna cover everything. This is a risky business, right? But what's important is, and again, these are things, these are tools that anyone can own and develop. They don't cost anything. It's essentially just developing a language of what risks am I comfortable taking? Can we figure out a way to, to mitigate these risks and make them as minimal as possible? But if we can't, should we go forward with the story anyways? And sometimes you do, and sometimes you have to live with a certain amount of risk. But having that discussion and having that dialogue is the most important step, and anyone can do it, whether you're a newsroom of five people or you're a newsroom of 500. The principle's the same.